Hey, what's up, everybody? On this episode of Roscoe's Reef, we're going to do an update on the tank. And stay around to the end of the video because there's going to be a special holiday message from me to you. So this update this week is going to be a short one. I just want to go over the new things that are happening in the tank. The first being this octo spawn from Danny at Coral Lust, which is taken off in my tank rather well, along with the torch coral that I picked up from Danny as well. It seems that all the corals that I'm picking up from Coral Lust are doing really well in my tank. The pieces over here, these two pieces of red setosa, the one right here, and the one up here was uh, given to me by uh, Reefing with Billy Pipes. So Billy, thank you for that. And they are doing really, really well. They polyped up pretty much the after the first hour they were in the tank. As you can see here, all the polyps are extended. And you can see the darker color as opposed to the pink Satosa that I picked up from Fish of Hex. Moving down, I moved the A cans off the sand and put them on this rock. And you may take notice that this area used to be where the Zoa Garden is, was. And that's because the Zoa Garden I fragged up and put on this piece of Tonga branch, and that's going to be the new Zoa Garden. There's just so many pieces I have here, I want them to fill out on this and make a really, really big Zoa Garden out of the bunch. So we'll see the update and how that progresses over time. It's just, I just did it yesterday, so uh, some of these uh, Zoas aren't open fully, but the majority of them have. The top piece is going to be the other Chaos, and I've given it plenty of room because that is pretty much my showpiece, and I want it to fill out a big, huge area. There were some Zoanthids that were donated also by uh, Reefing with Billy Pipes I picked up from him. So again, Billy on that, I thank you as well. And as you know from prior updates, these were also picked up from Danny at Coral Lust as well. Over here is a Favia. It's my first piece. It glows when my blues come on. Um, and I'm really excited to see how well that does in my tank because it's the first time that I've ever picked, had one in there. The only other thing I have is basically the, the red digitata is taken off and is really filling out really nicely. As you can see, there's more and more extensions to the polyps, as well as the, the purple is starting to stretch again like it has been all the time, upwards towards the lights. Also, this candy cane I moved, and I'm really happy I moved it here because when my blue lights come on, it actually reflects light into that bottom rock and lights it up. It's almost like a, la a lawn landscaping light, and uh, it really gives a cool look to the tank. As far as corals, that's the update. Uh, Fish-wise, everybody's doing well. The only problem I have is these two mollies, which are growing, as you can see here, they're getting big and they're getting fat, but they're both males and they have a tendency to fight. So really the only aggression I have in the tank are these two mollies. So that's it for the update as we watch the mollies, you know, basically twirl around and fight each other. Okay, so stand by. So the holiday message I have for everybody is at this time of the year, people gather around the table and give thanks to what they're thankful for. What am I thankful for? Well, besides my family and friends, it's you. You've grown the channel in a short period of time to 461 subscribers and we're knocking on the door of 500. Every time you hit the subscribe button, you become part of the Roscoe Reef family. And I'm thankful for every one of you. So to celebrate that, once we hit 500, there's going to be what I consider a pretty big contest. Uh, the details will be worked out, and once I hit the 500 subscribers, that contest will be announced, 
and stick around before the end of the week is over there should be a rather big surprise for you so make sure you come back and check out the videos and until next time this is Scott and I'll see you around the reef tank